Thousands join pro-Palestine rallies across Europe as anniversary of Gaza war nears. The war in Gaza, which started on October 7 last year, has seen more than 41,000 Palestinians killed and decimated the Strip. Almost 100 Israelis are still being held hostage by Hamas, with fewer than 70 believed to be alive. Thousands of people have staged protests in capitals across Europe in support of Palestine in the run-up to the first anniversary of the war on October 7. Huge rallies took place in several major European cities, with rallies expected to continue over the weekend and peak on Monday, the date of the anniversary. Italy In Rome, several thousand demonstrated peacefully until a smaller group tried to push the rally toward the center of the city, in spite of a ban by local authorities who refused to authorize protests, citing security concerns. Some protesters, dressed in black and with their faces covered through stones, bottles and paper bombs at the police, who responded with tear gas and water cannons, eventually dispersing the crowd. At least 30 law enforcement officers and three demonstrators were injured in the clashes, local media reported. The rally in Rome had been calm earlier, with people chanting Free Palestine, Free Lebanon, waving Palestinian flags and holding banners calling for an immediate stop to the conflict. United Kingdom In London, Thousands marched through the capital to Downing Street amid a heavy police presence. The atmosphere was tense as pro-Palestinian protesters and counter-demonstrators, some holding Israeli flags, passed one another. Scuffles broke out as police officers pushed back activists trying to get past a cordon. At least 17 people were arrested on suspicion of public order offenses, supporting a prescribed organization and assault, the Metro Metropolitan Police said. Spain Thousands also took to the streets of Madrid to demand a ceasefire in Gaza. The protests were peaceful and there were no reported incidents of altercations with police. Outrage at this situation, thousands and thousands of people killed in Gaza, now in Lebanon, there are already more than 2,000, more than 10,000 people missing. This has to be stopped one way or another, said Enrique Quintanilla from the Desar Madrid group. Germany in the northern of Hamburg, about 950 people staged a peaceful demonstration with many waving Palestinian and Lebanese flags and chanting Stop the Genocide, the DPA news agency reported, citing a count by police. Two smaller pro-Israeli counter-demonstrations took place without incident, it said. Serbia A smaller protest of around 200 people happened in Belgrade with protesters chanting Free Palestine and expressing their anger at their government's support for Israel. The main message is that we, citizens of Serbia and Belgrade, are against arms exports to Israel. The Republic of Serbia is exporting arms to Israel. Since October 7 last year, the value of weapons exported to Israel from Serbia is at least 20 million euros. We are against that, said protest organizer, Myhajlo Nikolic. Rallies were also planned in several other countries across Europe including Greece, the Netherlands, Denmark and Switzerland. Increased security Security forces in several countries warned of heightened levels of alert in major cities, amid concerns that the conflict in the Middle East could inspire new terror attacks in Europe or that the protests could turn violent. Pro-Palestinian protests calling for an immediate ceasefire have repeatedly taken place across Europe and around the globe in the past year and have often turned violent with confrontations between demonstrators and law enforcement officers. A bloody year on October 7 last year, Hamas launched a surprise attack into Israel, killing 1,200 Israelis, taking 250 people hostage and setting off a war with Israel that has shattered much of the Hamas-controlled Gaza Strip. More than 41,000 Palestinians have been killed since then in Gaza, according to the Gaza Health Ministry, which does not differentiate between fighters and civilians. Nearly 100 Israeli hostages remain in Gaza, with fewer than 70 believed to be alive.